I'm Justin Stuckey. I am a senior here at Sanford University. I'm a high jumper on the track and field team. Indoor season 2020. Uh, I had some knee issues pretty much the whole season. And then every time I come out to the track, something was hurting. Like it wasn't a, it wasn't a day where I was out there where I was like, man, my knee feels great. Like my knee was hurting and Rona hit. And so after that, we all got sent home. And it was just, for me, it was a time of like, okay, I can actually like get healthy. So I got with Bria, our trainer and Dr. Casey, and they tested me out and I had some like slight tears on the side of my knee connected to my hamstring. Not the most devastating injury, but it was definitely something that would have hindered me for a while, just kind of keep producing. So about May, I got like three shots in my knee and then I was pretty much out the rest of the summer, just rehabbing and training. John McBride, one of our PTs here, um, worked me the entire summer and got me right in the best physical shape possible. Really like going back home during the entire quarantine, it just gave me like a new aspect on life and what's important. And then knowing like when we get back to school, when we get back to tracking the things that I have been doing, we're gonna take it full go and really not take anything for granted. I think that was the biggest thing um, from the season getting taken away, just not taking stuff for granted. Coming back, you didn't really know what to expect because you had this crazy like disease you never heard of that just literally removed you from school, removed you from all social activities. Now you're getting to come back to the school you've been at, but it's not the same. Like it's just a new learning experience for everybody. Well, going into the fall training, I was like easy, my coaches were taking me like steady going back into it. And so we wanted to be smart about like when I started jumping. And so I already had big goals in mind um, and ready for the year. Like my longtime AAU coach, uh, Coach Ty Corals, who passed away due to COVID, was really hard. I talked to him in like August and he was like, man, how's it going? And I was like, it's going good. Like I'm getting ready for like a season. I feel like I'm gonna be all American. And he was like, I'm sure you're gonna get it. Like you'll be all American. So that was kind of already a chip on my shoulder. The indoor season was definitely a test of my patience, I would say. First meet, I did terrible in my eyes. Like a lot of pressure. It took me like on my third attempt to get the first bar and that's the only bar I got. So it was just crazy. And then the next meet, the night before, I got a positive Rona test like at 7 p.m. And so me and all of my roommates had to quarantine and the meets literally the next day. So it's like, man, I'm down two meets. I went home, I literally trained the entire time I was there, just going up to my high school track, nobody was there and getting right. And I hit seven feet for the first time in February. The whole indoor season was just like crazy. Like it really was like a movie. Cause then you get to conference, um, you only have one shot to make NCAAs. Confidence goes a long way, I'd say. Like I was really confident going into that meet and just got to natties. I had to like really like lock in mentally and like remember why I was there. And we had the first shakeout. And that was the first time I seen all the athletes that were actually there competing. And that just got me in the mode of like, okay, like let's get it. And things just happened like in the warm months where I got my confidence because I was the only one really clearing the bars. And so I was like, okay, let's go. And then it just picked up and flowed. I went through three straight bars. I set a school record, a PR. It was definitely a humble, a great experience. I was just so like humbled and just to see the reactions I had on my phone afterwards with everybody texting me. It just felt great. Like I was just like, man, look how far I've come. Look how far God's brought me. Like I went from a guy who was just like, maybe just a conference level guy. And now I'm finishing first team all American. Like that's just a blessing in itself. I competed long jump the Friday. And so after that, went out for a birthday dinner. I was feeling good. Woke up the next morning. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel so sore. Like it did not feel like one of those days where I just feel the best. And it was an early morning meet again, but my family was there, my friends were there. And I was just like, I'm just gonna go do what it do. Like I had a lot of confidence and I got, I went clear all the way to 221. The first jump was just bad. I was like, okay, like let me regroup. And so I locked in and then the next one was just like, like a lot of space between it. It was just telling me like, man, like you're close, like you just keep working. I think that's my mindset all the time. Like whenever you hit one level, there's another level to hit. Just like taking each one, like just picking them up as tokens and just being like grateful. Cause it could be the other way around. You gotta be grateful for every 
um, accomplishment you have. So when we're going to nationals, it's big hype. Like it's Oregon, new stadium, never been in it. I've seen it on YouTube, all these videos, and it's crazy. Like flying out to Oregon took a whole day to get there. It takes more mental preparation than physical, I would say, for like the long run of the of a season that long. It's like six months. And I was like, man, you gotta be grateful for even getting to the point and like not being satisfied, but understand like like a year ago, you weren't at this stage at all. Now you're here, like just keep building off of that. I think it's just crazy because I've never been, I've never competed in a stadium in general and then definitely not a stadium like only catered to track. I think that's why it's so special, it's only to track. And I would say my best moment is when we went like under the tunnel and we came out and I was like, just looking around, I was like, man, this is, this is it. I didn't know what the Olympic trials was two years ago, like, to be honest. And so having to make goals as you go, understanding the path God's put you on and then making goals from that, that was kind of my thing. I feel like the trajectory of my track career kind of changed like after this, like I have two more years this year and next year to still compete. And I have this to look back on. It's just like a starting block. Like I said, just having something to build off of. I want to win a national championship at home. NCAA's indoor is in Birmingham. There's gonna be fans. I want to win. I remember sitting in the bleachers at the top when my boy Shelby won from Alabama, and I was like, I have to be here. Like I want to be here. I took one of the um, pop sockets that they had, and I put it in my room at home. And I was like, I'm gonna be here. It would mean, it would mean everything. Just to looking back on the journey and to do it, get the job done in my hometown. That would mean everything to me. If I could tell, oh my gosh. Get ready, because the journey that I've been on has been a crazy one. I would just tell them just to get ready, enjoy the, enjoy the journey, for sure.